Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is determine the moments of the tension T about point P and about point O. In this problem, given is a semicircular section as shown in figure and whose radius is R and it is arranged like this in this position. So angle uh, from horizontal to this line is theta and there is a tension T is uh, pulling at the point A like shown in figure. So angle between horizontal and this tension is alpha. Now in this problem we need to find uh, first moment due to T about O and second moment due to T about point P. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us see moment due to T about O. So T is acting at an angle alpha from this horizontal and angle between horizontal line and this line is theta. So there is a reaction RP is acting vertically upwards like this and moment about O this RP won't create any moment about O. So only force T uh, can create moment about O. So uh, moment due to T about O can be written as the component perpendicular to uh, this line OA can be written as T sin alpha plus theta and this distance A to O is R. So the moment due to uh, T about O can be written as MO equal to T into sin alpha plus theta into R. So that is MO equal to TR sin alpha plus theta. Now let us see moment due to T about point P. So in this video I am going to discuss two different methods to find uh, moment due to T about P. So first let us see the simplest method. So in this uh, in this method uh, here the T is acting here. So T and in the previous slide we have seen moment due to P about O. So now let us transfer T and uh, MO to the point O here. So MO is clockwise direction and T is parallel to this T here. So angle between horizontal and this T is alpha same as this one. So now uh, let us uh, see moment uh, due to uh, these two couple and uh, T about P. So this RP won't create uh, any moment uh, about P since it is acting at the same point. So the moment due to this T and MO uh, about P can be written as MP equal to MO plus T cos alpha into R. So that is a uh, comp horizontal component of T is T cos alpha and distance from O to P is R that is radius. So that is written here. So MP equal to MO plus T cos alpha into R. So let us substitute MO that we have seen in the previous slide. So it will become MP equal to TR sin alpha plus theta plus TR cos alpha. So after further simplification we get MP equal to TR into sin alpha plus theta plus cos alpha. So let us see in the coming slides how to solve this uh, 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 in a different method. In this method moment due to T about P can be found as uh, first drawing a line from A to P let us call the distance is X and resolve this force perpendicular to this line AP. So angle from here to here is alpha here to here is theta and let us call this angle is beta. So the component of T perpendicular to this line can be written as uh, T sin alpha plus theta plus beta into this X. So now let us find uh, this X and before finding this X now let us see some angles here. Now let us draw a line from A to P and another line from P to O. So here we form a triangle A O P. So let us call this angle is beta. So if this is beta this angle is also beta. Now here let us extend this line from O to onto this horizontal line. So here we form a right angle triangle and this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is theta. So this angle will be 90 minus theta. So angle from this line to this line is 180 degrees. So angle from this line to this line will be 180 minus 90 minus theta that is 90 plus theta. So if this angle is 90 plus theta now let us draw a line uh, perpendicular to this AP onto this AP from O. So that divides this triangle AOP into two equal halves two right angle triangles. So this angle is 90 degrees and since 
angle from here to here is 90 plus theta and angle from here to here will become 90 plus theta by 2. Now we have angle here 90 plus theta by 2 and this angle is beta. So from this uh, right angle triangle A, O and this point. So at this point angle is 90 degrees and this angle we have seen in the previous slide 90 plus theta by 2. So this angle is beta, beta will become 90 minus theta by 2. So this distance A to P let us call that X. So X can be written as uh, since this angle is 90 plus theta by 2. So from here to here it is X by 2. So X by 2 is R sin uh, 90 plus theta by 2. So this distance A to O is R. So this distance will become uh, R sin 90 plus theta by 2. So total distance from A to P will be a 2 into R sin theta by 2. So that is X equal to 2 R sin theta by 2. So now we found X and uh, we resolve this T perpendicular to this uh, line AP. So let us now write moment due to T about P. So MP equal to T into sin alpha plus theta plus beta into 2 R sin 90 plus theta by 2. In this equation now let us substitute beta. Beta is 90 minus theta by 2 that we have seen in the previous slide. So MP equal to 2 TR sin alpha plus theta plus 90 minus theta by 2 into sin 90 plus theta by 2. So now let us expand this term sin alpha plus theta plus 90 minus theta by 2 as sin A plus B. And here we can get 2 TR sin 90 plus theta by 2 that is this one into uh, sin alpha plus theta cos 90 minus theta by 2 plus cos alpha plus theta sin 90 minus theta by 2. So now let us multiply this into this. We get 2 TR into sin alpha plus theta sin 90 plus theta by 2 cos 90 minus theta by 2 plus cos alpha plus theta sin 90 plus theta by 2 sin 90 minus theta by 2. So this term is similar to this term and this term is similar to this term. So using these two trigonometric formulae, we can simplify the previous equation as MP equal to TR into sin alpha plus theta sin 90 plus sin theta minus cos alpha plus theta into cos 90 minus cos theta. So cos 90 is 0. So after further simplification, we get uh, MP equal to TR into sin alpha plus theta plus sin alpha plus theta into sin theta minus 0. That is uh, cos 90 is 0 uh, plus cos alpha plus theta into cos theta. So using this formula here cos a minus b is cos, cos a minus b equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. So this term can be further simplified as mp equal to tr into sin alpha plus theta plus cos alpha plus theta minus theta. So this term and this term uh, can be written as cos alpha plus theta minus theta. So plus theta minus theta gets cancelled. So finally we get MP equal to TR into sin alpha plus theta plus cos alpha. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.